so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm educating uh, Pat on gay shit. They actually make mm -hmm. these uh, long johns or whatever that are really, really cool. Um, and I need to get two of them. Mm -hmm. One in small and one in probably medium. So I can take pictures of folks in them. I don't need to wear a jock strap anymore. Um, uh, mm -hmm. So, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to look sexy. You I mean, Josh that. does. I mean, the... TikTok, because of Josh, the TikTok algorithm, at the very least, TikTok thinks I'm bisexual, mm. which yeah. is cool, which is, but I'm very educated. Thanks to Josh. I wake up every day. Just wait till you start getting the inmates again, because I'm back on that kick. Oh, no, Josh. Find a nice, a nice boy. Uh, how do you, listen, no innocent fella, people no go to cons. jail all the time. That's how true. How dare you? They could be nice. They could have been wrong place, wrong time. So true. Uh, hello Twitch, it's so good to see you. Um, hey, Twitch, I feel like you look great today. Uh, this is uh, Which dark. Which always looks great. That yes, I st you still gotta say it though, make him feel special. It's true. <laughs> uh, we are the darkest days of Dale. Rhyme of the Frost Maiden adventure based on Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Roll twenty sponsored show. Yeah. Uh, we're here. We're out here uh, trying to get the new Pokemon games through whatever yeah. means necessary. Um, in the future, they're just going to have an app where you can do crimes. It's I saw it. And yeah, I'm that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into this. I have a new setup where my second monitor is like right here. And I'm trying to figure out a way to do it. I need to, I need to give Brett $70 it like a... to fix my shit. Mm -hmm. I could do it. <laughs> I, I, you just hit it with a hammer, you just know. Hit it, hit it, quit call... it. I refer to my second monitor as a step monitor. I said it with an M. I said it with an N. I said monitor. I didn't say step monitor. Monitor. <laughs> I like. That. What are you doing, step monitor? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, because I'm, I hurt my neck because my monitors are too big. Problem, you know, gamers. Um, maybe I should do the up monitor or something like that. That's what Nika has. Um, but I eventually need a third monitor because I'm going to try to do the dual PC streaming so that my computer doesn't crash. So, but I don't know if my, my second computer is good enough to do it. This is, this is the life of a content creator with ADHD that doesn't want to finish things or it's start true. things really. Um, it, it's an issue. That's also true. That's me. Yeah. Is not wanting to start oh. things an ADHD symptom? It is. Yeah, it's executive the, dysfunction, baby. Executive dysfunction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is starting thirty things and not finishing any of them a symptom? Yeah, yes. that's that's yes. the executive. Yeah, yeah, because that's why that's my computer the first one is on the ground and a two hundred piece of equipment that I bought three weeks ago, sitting right next to it, not doing anything. How are you guys? What's up? Today? <laughs> I gotta do a tweet. Oh yeah, I'm yeah do a tweet. tweet. I gotta say we're live. Hanging on I by did. a thread. Hanging I just right typed thread? in. I just typed in tweet.com. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up, bro. That's funny. It's that's uh. God. Are you gonna be okay uh, today, Brett? <laughs> yeah, Brett, you fine, bud. I I'm quite ill. I'm a little sad because we ha we didn't get to do Halloween because everybody had the flu. Oh. Yeah. I, I had a I big. Didn't pink morph suit oh. and i was gonna oh, go you... as gonger from uh sesame street and i Did didn't get BB to do Brett it have a costume yeah he was gonna be you ever you probably don't watch sesame street but they they've got a food truck and it's cookie monster and this little pink dude gonger and we were gonna be the food truck buds but it didn't um, work out damn. fuck that sucks i was shikamaru Wait. from naruto Ooh. i was in bed fair enough no, we did Halloween and birthday party for the my middle child, and then the next day we had to text all uh, text like ten people that we love very much and tell them, hey, guess what? You have COVID. Uh, that so so far it has been localized to just just my wife, my wife, and not myself or the kids or any of the people that we were with. I'll tell uh, you what, looking like, online, you and going outside, you'd think COVID's over. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You live in Florida, never started. Hey, baby. Uh, we're about to hit herd immunity in the grave. Uh, I went to the doctor's <laughs> office and they're like, they're asking me all these new questions. And he's like, and it's like, oh, it's for monkeypox. 
I was like, yeah, I ain't trying it. I went to a, a, a pride festival and they're giving out monkeypox vac- vaccines and, you know, all sorts of other stuff. I think they're trying to push that. But I was like, I mean, I'm drinking a beer. This is not <laughs> this is not the time for this. That's a, that's a big that's a big uh, commitment. You never had a beer in a shot? <laughs> uh yeah i got my flu shot on halloween and i was like i usually do get a little a little crumbly after getting those things and i'm gonna be drinking i hope i hope that's not bad but it was fine it was fine uh halloween it's the best time of year we had 415 trick-or-treaters this year but it felt not as busy as last year what are you gonna do i can believe that yeah. Well, gang, it's been a little bit since we streamed due to travel and uh, sicknesses and things like that. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Um, yeah. Both the cast um, and uh, the audience here. Uh, we are uh, inside the Frost Maiden's castle, I guess you'd say. Maybe temple, maybe her high priestess's <laughs> lair. All of those things are fairly a- accurate. You have defeated Gelly Vuken, and she kind of... Is that a Street Fighter move? (laughs) It's not not that. And um, she exploded in a shower of ice in snow. The Frost Maiden connected directly to some of you, offering you a little bit of uh, help. You know, she's technically on the neutral side of gods. It's just that, like... It's like saying hurricanes are neutral, you know what I'm saying? Or like, uh, obviously, blizzards, snowstorms that kill people. It's like a, a, a very bad, natural part of existence. So she's sort of like the neutral aspect of bad things that happen in the um, in the in the icy, snowy lands, isolation, desperation, mm-hmm. things like that. So since you were able to pass the basic trials, and since you were able to get the codicil of white. Fuck it, you know. Some of you reached out for more power, and she listened. Now that she, she's sort of more in this realm than she was before, and uh, uh, somehow um, Nettle didn't get murdered th- by bothering her, and then That's unfortunately, a huge shock. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> Dead Eye spoke a little too soon uh, and flippantly. And can I sum it up <laughs> from Dead's perspective? Yeah, to use a. <laughs> And nothing can go wrong. Oh, no, it all went wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Look, I was just trying to fix Chewinga. Yeah. Can't can't blame a girl for trying to fix her giant construct. Yeah. But then, uh, yeah, so here you are. You're still in uh, the base level. And Pat, character Deadeye, is Frozen Man. Petrification, but instead of stone, it's ice. Yeah. And that's where we'll pick up. Presumably magic ice? Yep. Yeah, like if we, well, yeah, if we melt it, Pat melts. Yeah, you destroy it and Pat will just die. <laughs> Unless you have like shape water and then we can like meticulously shape water him back. <laughs> oh my God, we can shape water him back younger. Okay. Yeah. Make him a little sexier. So yeah, what do you guys do? Uh, I guess we put Dead Eye in the bag of holding. Also, <laughs> Chewinga's pieces in the bag of holding. Yep. Uh, Velian is like, what, 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 what are you doing? Be careful. Yes. I, I don't know what we're doing. This is, he's ice, man. <sighs> Velian, do some fucking magic or something. What? As much as I'm loath to finally stoop to your level, Mittens, uh, there are ways of reversing these things. Uh, We just have to find the right materials. Which which are... You say this like you know what materials we need, but you're not telling us what the materials are. Yes, yes. Do we need a big steamer pot? Well, give me a steamer pot? No, he'll melt and that's not good. Uh, yeah. This isn't my specialty, um, but I, I I think we should be able to figure it out uh, uh, together if we have uh, some basic ideas. Uh, shit. Uh, 
Okay. Right. I'm very fast and good at uh, turning things into potions. Oh, you are. You are. That will help. I, 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 I'm proficient as one can be at all the various potions, but I wouldn't say that that's my expertise. So maybe me and you can put our heads together and figure. I am a doctor. Out. Are any of you? You're a doctor. Are any of you else aware of these things? I just throw knives at people. That's that's. Okay. I am aware that he's in a block of magical ice. That's fair. It sounds like a uh, uh, dead eye would have some ideas. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Bad yeah. that. Uh, all right, let's put our head together, Dorksalim, for a second. Dorksalim, give me a. Uh, yeah, like a nature check, I guess, medicine check. Okay. I'm proficient in medicine. Get him. That is a gentleman's 20. I got a 14 plus okay. six. So uh, for about 20 minutes, you I put and... my head on her head. I should stop. <laughs> you should put our heads together. Okay. For about 20 minutes, you two kind of go over various cures, working backwards from how one would cure the standard rock petrification, moving forward, uh, also dealing with what you might potentially have on hand. And uh, you kind of are getting stumped. And then you go, <laughs> and you smell a slightly, the, the charred bit of meat that you smell in the room that you've been smelling the whole time uh, finally catches your attention. And you look over, and you see the burnt body of the ice troll that Nas Lantamir possessed. And you know from experience that ice troll hearts can make frost resistant potions. And maybe with enough, uh, a pure enough heart and some other materials, uh, perhaps you'll be able to, you know, cure it uh, that way. Um, and so, yeah, that information is told to all of you. So if one of you wants to do another check to delicately remove the ice. Troll's heart. Tim, so, I put my hand on her shoulder to go, I ate it. You ate the one from Na Nas Lantamir? Oh, is that's there, right, you did. Another... I, I was did. watching that's... the uh, the clip today to try to figure out what you guys did with it, and as soon as Deadeye killed it, I Bad. moved on. <laughs> yeah. like, that's where I it is. I ate it, because I've had regeneration this whole time. That is I'm true. fully healed. You did eat it. <gasps> uh, oh, shit. shit. Okay. That... What about its liver? I, I maybe guess, it's spinal fluid? I guess there we... may be another ice troll. Uh, she takes out the I... professor orb. Scant! Scant! Is there... Uh, yes, mistress! How are you? Uh, you've been on this island for some time. Is there another ice troll? Like, um, yeah, I can go kill ice troll. I don't believe so. Maybe. Um, there are several yetis. Well, yetis aren't ice trolls. Maybe they are. There's Yeti caves on the other side, and uh, she's like, "Okay, I guess somewhere on the other side of the island, there's a cave system <laughs> of more Yetis." Oh, there's also the the hags of the sea. <laughs> Once I'm on flex, thank you so much, Susie. Sorry yeah. for uh, scratching you out in the picture, but I thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> Oh, yes, the, uh, the, our ship went down due to being attacked by some sea hags uh, on the way in. That's why uh, uh, we uh, 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 perished. Well, I guess Nass perished because the ship went down, got waterlogged, wasn't able to warm up in time, and then uh, 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 expired on the shore. And I was there wondering, wow, that was embarrassing for her. Did they eat a sea hag? The... They oftentimes have a bounty of reagents and things like that, but oftentimes they want a weird price. Okay. And what with this being a frost giant kingdom, who knows what treasures they have collected? And then uh, Valiant's like, yeah, I guess we should just, I don't know, harvest everything we can from the dead uh, ice troll upstairs, or the ice... Um, giant up uh, frost giant upstairs and okay. try to harvest as much from this and maybe we'll get somewhere 
Um, I don't know. This is this is very stressful. Uh, yes, yes, mistress. This is uh, bad for all of you. But like, hey, uh, any place to become a popsicle. This is probably one of the best places. Why? Oh, there's a wealth of bounties hidden under the water and along this frozen island. Perhaps there's even more things in this castle. Yeah, we should we should maybe look around okay. see if they if if they're over here turning people into ice all the time. Maybe they just had like a. A de-icer lay laying around, you know? So true! Like frost. And perhaps yes. even... How long ago did you eat the heart? Could we make you throw up? Well, it's been a while, like probably at least an hour or two. I've, I've definitely adjusted most of it by now. Ah, damn. <laughs> damn. Well, what are you gonna do? It, shit happens, as they say. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um. So what do you guys want to do? Gang. Is that walrus still down here? He did. Yeah, dead. He's yeah. Dead. I'm gonna take a piece of the walrus and cook it on the leftover flamethrower. Okay. <laughs> and then be munching on that while we're packing up to go somewhere. Okay. I'm so hungry. Okay. Yeah, I guess we should explore the rest of the building. Uh, but it's really tender. The marbling. Oh, he's so fucking good. Yeah. Wag you in this beat. Wall okay. View. Okay. 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 So uh, the basic gist is there is um, really the only place up is to go up the stairs. Um, there's not much else in here because I've deleted can I, content from this area. Talk to me. Buddy. Can I? Do I have any sensory? Like, can I see? Can I think? Or is it like lights out for me? I'm like in a coma. Uh, I think it's like. Well, I don't know. So like my favorite you're like frozen, but your eyes can move. <laughs> I think you're just like in your head. Okay. So you can't hear anything. It's basically like you're in a sensory deprivation chamber and you just feel cold. Um, a book I read that happened to a guy and he was a statue and they're like, hey, man, it must have felt like just a, a day for you. He's like, no. I felt the passage of 20 years. Like, whoa, that's fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. You didn't age, but your brain is fucked. Um, okay. Inconsistent that's books, but I like them. Uh, it's you're immune to disease. That dead eyes, or that Tash isn't here to talk to him in his brain. Oh, true mm. that. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, so there's this uh, stairs going up the way you came. And uh, there's a few more places you did not explore um, in the Citadel. Okay. Are you right. leaving me? No, we put no. you in the bag of holding. Did I fit? Put you in the bag of holding. <laughs> can you uh, that way? I don't think it can fit. Uh, isn't the, uh, what's the, the hole is like not that big. It has to That's, fit around. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, let, let's not forget, Deadeye is not Pat. Deadeye is like lanky and scrawny. <laughs> he has like armored stuff though, right? I guess he he like barely, yeah, he just looks he looks like when you put like small child and football pads. Mm, okay. Armor. Yeah, and I think uh Dead Eye went like this, like when he was freezing. It's like be small, be small, be small. Um, <laughs> yep, yep. I could probably fit him through like a like a pipe. Just break him in half. Uh I uh <laughs> I forget how big the hole to the bag of holding is, but I remember it not being as huge. I mean we but don't it might have be to big. bring we I don't remember. Here. So you're not if you had, if you were if you'd put yourself in like a backpack position, I could have just carried you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you just like. Okay, oh, does the time. bag of does the bag of holding have like backpack roll straps? Can we just tie him to that? <laughs> I think you'll be fine just leaving him here. Yeah, we'll leave you here. You'll be okay. You're immune to disease. You can't do. You're fine. What's else? What's gonna happen? We did here? put Chewinga's parts in the bag. of Chewinga's holding, parts can be put in there. Absolutely. Yes. All right, so you head upstairs. It's that yeah. air, that semicircular room. I'm in the um, front. Okay, 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 okay. It's that semicircular room with several perched what appear to be statues all around. Um, Velan looks at them and goes, "Those look a lot like Sopo." <laughs> Sopo back. Sopo's not here, but. Uh, they just look like slender gargoyle-like creatures made of ice. And it's like, well, if they are Sopo, maybe we should... Break them? Bash them? Yeah. Fuck Up that here. guy. Okay. So, how, Mittens, how about you, like... Do you, like, go to try to stab one or something like that? 
uh, Mittens pulls his, his whip out uh, and, like, tries to whip a part of it and, like, rip off a piece of the statue with the whip. Okay. As soon as you get your whip out and rear back, all six of these statues come to life and starts like, oh, fuck, oh, shit, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's roll. Oh, no. Uh, initiative. <laughs> initiative. Do you want us to roll in the app? No, in the you can go analog style. Acoustic rolling. Mm-hmm. Um, where the fuck is my initiative? God damn it. It's like every time. Uh, I'm going to fight. Boy, oh boy. This isn't good. I rolled a one. Uh, oh so that's a four i got a nine cool oh there it is plus four jesus christ uh 17 i just had to scroll up (laughs) okay so you're caught off guard as you're doing that um maybe mittens you accidentally were spooked just a little bit causing you to go last in the initiative order uh <laughs> dorks a limb all six of these gargoyle like statues start screaming and starting to move uh your bullet time powers activate what do you do there it's like a semicircle around sort of like the staircase going down okay i am going to dart at the towards like if it's you said six in a semicircle right so i'm gonna dart straight forward to the two that would be the quote center of the semicircle okay perfect yeah that actually helps me absolutely i will begin attacking first attack is a oh i'm already there is a uh 22 to hit got them they have Almost no armor class. Sick. I'm not sure you could even miss. That is... Oh, shit. Wait, I have to go to this whole other page. This is why people don't like leveling up in RPGs. Am I right? We all hate leveling up in RPGs. Yeah. 16 (laughs) damage to the first one. Okay. And then another attack upon, upon it. Were we supposed to have leveled up recently? No. No. Oh, okay. Um That is a twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That hits as hell. And this one is a uh Jesus. Seven is plus five. Twelve damage? Okay. Yeah, um, you crack. Uh, are, you, are you attacking the same one or two different ones? I'm attacking the same one twice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> explodes. Uh, Sick. And uh, not just explodes, but um, I need you to make a dex saving throw, please. I don't think you can I'm fail, but here we are. That is a 18. Okay. Uh, you succeed. Uh, you take... So basically what happens is, is it explodes... Uh, mm-hmm. and you would have taken four slashing damage if you failed, two if you succeeded. I have no idea what your situation is. You're probably, you're probably like... I have evasion, somehow. so if I make yeah. a deck saving throw, then I don't take cool. any damage. Perfect. Yep. Half Nothing half. happens to you. So you guys <laughs> explodes all around you, but it's just within <clears throat> five feet, and there's probably about at least ten-ish feet in between each of these pedestals. Uh, so that is uh, one of them down. I call that M3. Sick. I'm going to use a key point. <gasps> a key blade. I'm going to attack two more times. Okay. <sighs> now I'm attacking the other one that was in the middle. I'll call that M4. This is a 14 to hit. Hits as hell. <laughs> All right. This one will probably survive this onslaught, potentially. <laughs> they have very um, low life, too. Okay. Well, that's why there's six of them, though. Punishing I did good you. on this one, actually. This one is... Punish Sopo. 11 bludgeoning damage. Okay. It's all magical, by the way. Cool. Oh, yeah. And sure then my will. next flurry of blows is Oh, fuck. A... What? They're vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. Exploded. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. And then this one is uh, 15 to hit. Uh, deck saving throw, please. Again. Oh, I already killed it. Shit. Yeah. Um... 
Let me actually look at this so I'm not being insane. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that can, is a. Can you roll beneath a ten? I can, <laughs> but I have to. I have to roll a two or a one. Okay, cool. So yeah, I had a thir- thirteen. Explosion. Fine. Uh, yeah, that's a it, what I call M four down. Um, wait, was that just from one hit? Yep. It's it oh. like they don't have that much health. You you almost killed the first one in the, your first hit. Oh, okay. Well then I'll you move probably to probably did, but I didn't see the vulnerability part. That one was special actually. Well, no, those two were slashing damage. Yeah. The first two were slashing damage. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. The second two are bludgeoning damage. So this last for blows will go. So I'm in the middle. Yep. I hit the two in front of me. I'm going to go counterclockwise. Okay. I call that. And a that two. one is a, Jesus, 14 to hit. Yep. And then uh, another 11. Uh, see if you roll a one or a two. I rolled, I actually rolled a three. <laughs> so I got a 10. <laughs> if it meets a beats, you're fine. This one does cover you in, in ice and you're chilly now, even though you're not. No, not my pristine white fur. <laughs> uh, anything else, my friend? No, that was bonus movement and action. Cool beans. Valian is like, stop blowing them up. We need to harvest into their parts. Uh, the remaining three, f- four, three, three. Uh, get up. The one right in front of you, Mittens, opens its mouth and goes, <gasps> And I need uh, mittens and nettle to make a dexterity saving throw. This is I believe in you. For not killing all of the imps all the time. <laughs> uh, 19. Okay. Uh, uh, you each take three damage. Unless uh, three cold um, damage um, because you succeeded. It's I'm like, out. You're down? Yeah. I only had one hit point. I'm down. Good night. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, yeah. thought we healed, I thought Josh healed you. No. <laughs> dead or he healed Deadeye. To, uh, <laughs> Deadeye was going to put a band-aid on me and then got frozen before he yeah. could. <laughs> <laughs> Deadeye. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> Don't Just survive a round and we'll be out of this. Yeah. 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 Dorks is literally just <laughs> one punch manning these things. Yeah. Um, another one flies up uh, to you, Dorks, and does a slash. That's a natural one. Um, another one flies up to you. That's a 10. I don't think that's going to do anything. A 10 to hit me? Yep. No. And then a third comes up and slashes at you as well. And that's an 11. Great round, gang. Great round. Um, next up is, well, Nettle, give me a death saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Tim was going to be like, well, Dork, just go again. Why not? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> um, 17. Okay. That's one success. Nice job. Uh, Velen uh, looks at one and mutters some words and it falls down on the ground uh, asleep. And she's like, see, this way we can harvest the little guy <laughs> while he's alive. Don't, you've got to be quick or else he'll explode in our hands. Uh, mittens, you're up. There are two more. Um, uh, they are slashing at Dorks a limb on the I'm other side of the dodging. room. Hey, uh, hey, Dorks, you got these guys? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of that little over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it should be easy. Yeah, all right. And then I have... A potion of healing in my inventory. Yay! Thank goodness. <laughs> I feel like we should be stacked on them because I feel like I keep giving them out every time we rest somewhere. I don't think I feel like you don't give them to me, uh, but I think right. because you're explicitly like I don't want healing, don't give them to me. <laughs> uh, all right, well, you get well, uh, a nine, nine. Nice, nice job. Nice. All right, Dark Salem. Go ahead and see if you can not kill these guys. Good luck. Okay, easy. I'm going to... They're slashing at you. Slash, 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 slash. Sick. All right, instead of using my claws, I'm going to close my fists and use unarmed strikes. Okay. Uh, The first one is a 12 to hit. That hits. Sick. 
That is. Wait a minute. Seven bludgeoning damage. It cracks. Not dead. But it's conscious. It's conscious. And it's still flying around. Okay, God, that's why I was like, it's not. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. There was not <laughs> enough damage to quote unquote kill it. Easy peasy. Um, that'll hit it again. That is, ooh, a 19. Holy shit. Okay, that was a 19 plus numbers yep. to hit. And this is nine bludgeoning damage, non lethal. All right, you hit it in the head and it falls to the ground and somehow doesn't explode. All righty. And then my bonus action attack is an 18 plus numbers to hit. Mm -hmm. And that is five plus five is 10 bludgeoning on lethal. Okay. Uh, it, it too falls on the ground, uh, passed out, saying, but I have one HP. It's like, we're not going to go another round for one HP. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So there are three ice methods on the ground uh unconscious um due to your beautiful beautiful um uh, attacks in, in velan's like okay these things are mostly just a uh, frigid air and water but kind of like a jellyfish they sh they i believe they have an internal component um Dorkselin, please help me again by rolling either a nature or medicine since gotcha you know, medicine you're the player just for you and you gotta roll well i'm just a i am a good wizard mittens i'm just not one of the pcs i'm sorry <laughs> 22 <laughs> medicine check that's great okay you're able to kind of cut through these things and again it's very very strange uh, it's probably a, closest to like yeah um a jellyfish made out of air cold frigid air ice and water but while looking like a, a little winged freaky guy uh, and you do find these little kind of internal, what I guess you'd call a heart ganglia nerve center. And you're able to extract those and Valian quickly wraps them up and puts them inside some of her like, you know, various wizard potion bottles she has uh, like, OK, these should keep for a little bit. Um, okay, I dive on the bodies so they when they blow up, they only blow up on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll uh, three times so that uh, see if you get a one or two. Got a six. Nineteen. Let's go. And a one. All right. So you take a four slashing damage. Okay. Is what is 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 written on the page as you <laughs> save your friends from an explosive fate. All right, I did it. Um, good, now what? Now what? Okay, well, this is probably not enough, but it's a step in the right direction. Not um, sure. But uh, we didn't explore over there, and she gestures across the way. Okay, I stay in the front, and we start going that way. Okay. I and I'm fully this... healed again. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, this is um, the uh, immense hall stands of 30 foot long, 10 foot wide, 10 foot high dining table carved from ice and surrounded by a dozen blocks of ice that once served as chairs. Um, there's not much in here, but there is a staircase uh, uh, that go in the southwest corner that has mist rolling down. Oh, mist going down the stairs? That's weird. Yeah. So that's the only other way is to go up those stairs. Okay. Can we see what's like where the stairs are going or is it like upstairs and there's like the. Oh, uh, it's like uh, curving. Yeah. That's what I was like. Is it like, is there like an immediate floor right above us or does it go up for a while and curve around the outside? Um, it goes up for a while, but a lot of that is because it's, it's frost giant sized. Okay. So like big ass steps and you know, not, you're not too sure how far it goes up, just because, again, big okay. steppies. That makes sense. Okay. Do, I'm in the front, and I'm ready to go. If you're ready to go, do do we want to, like, chill for a minute and, like, recoup our uh, we can do that. health temporarily? Do we have the time? I mean, like, Nettle almost died from a, from an imp. <laughs> That's true. If, I wish you would have said that before, because these freaking uh, uh, Mephit organs probably won't last fuck all right well let's go upstairs i'm not looking great either uh <laughs> jesus christ oh my um, gosh this is bad how many hit points do you guys have do you guys have any more potions on you that was my one potion i 
I have right, one. All right, you should take it. I'm gonna see if I have an extra one in here. I can get you. I feel like Deadeye probably has some stuff on him, but he can't get to his <laughs> yeah. pockets, you know? <laughs> I'm giving you another potion of healing, Mittens. All right, I drink the juicy juice. Same. It's delicious. And then I'm going to tap Nettle and give you my last key point. Uh, seven more hit points. Sick. Okay. And I got I got six from that. Hooray. Woohoo! Oh, T3. All right. All right, Tim, I'm all out of key points, so you can't stun your shit anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, you head up the semicircular stairs to a semicircular room. Has a forest of icicles hanging from its ceiling. Some of them as much as eight feet long. Against the curved wall to the south stands an enormous throne of ice decorated with the carved images of winter wolves and macedons. Across the throne on the north wall is an open doorway. There's nothing else in here, just that throne? Yeah. And the mast mastodon. Okay. I guess we'll go through the door. I want to inspect the throne. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for, I don't know, like a Star Trek style control panel or something. Like, where's the button that opens the fire pit? So true. Uh, 16 plus whatever. Is it One. made out of like frozen cudgels? 17. It's like the iron inspection. throne, but it's made of frost. I like that. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a very beautifully carved throne, even though it appears to have aged many, many, many years. And from what you've put together from talking to other people, it's probably quite old, but it, it, it's, it stood the test of time. It looks very beautiful with all the carvings that you do not find anything else. But you hear a creaking above you. Uh -oh. um, as one of the stalactites falls at you, does ooh a natural twenty? Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> Who at me? Mm -hmm. Admittance? Yeah, you take like all the damage, right? I'm gonna <laughs> die. You take um. You take a. A hundred and seventy-eight. hundred and seventy-eight. Uh, uh. This point. is. Tim is scrambling because I I called out how many hit points I had like ten seconds ago, <laughs> and he did more than that. I'm certain of it. How many hit points? Is uh, you take dead? four damage. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. As, Might as well have not taken a hit of uh, a fucking potion though. But yeah, whatever. these uh, uh <laughs> that's more that's more hit points you would have had if you didn't. So beach. true. And then um, uh, as you kind of reel back from that one, you hear another crack. <laughs> And uh, landing in front of you is this, push, like, one of the stuff that falls. And again, it just looks like it just breaks. Bad luck, right? But then it starts squirming around. And it has these, like, big teeth and big eyes. And it looks like a big worm. Um, oh, uh, ew. And uh, uh, the then you hear, crack, 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 crack. And, all, and then uh, several more fall to the ground <laughs> and start jumping at all of you. I'll use oh, your, no. your previous initiative if that's okay uh okay. dork salim there are a to oops wrong button oops oops no wrong button stop mittens is just a really distraught at dead eyes icy form and is just last in initiative because he just can't today uh there are seven creatures on the ground made of ice uh and they're trying to ow, 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 ow. um oh wow I did not read that stat correctly. You would have died. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Oops. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. Uh, Dark Slim, there are seven of these little creatures all around you. Okay. So, just so I have a lay of the land, is Mittens, like, far from me? Like, across the room from me? In my mind, that's sort of what happened, but... All right. How many, if you, in your mind's grid... How many would I need to get past to get to where Mittens is? At least four. I'm assuming there's one near him, right? Because yeah, one there's like there. two near him. Um, okay. And there's like one on the other side of him and then four between you and him. So I'm like properly surrounded. Mm -hmm. Well, RIP Mittens. I'm going to punch. <laughs> 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 eh, no, fuck it. I will um, leap over them. To get to mittens. 
I guess that's four opportunity attacks. I um, I don't know if these things can even fight. <laughs> now that I'm looking at them, uh, these are piercers. Uh, they use the piercer stat block. I saved mittens from 18 damage by not reading it fully. Goodness. And the only action they have is drop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do we just step on them? Can we just walk around them? Well, I mean, yeah, no, they they go to bite at you because these are special ones. But I'm I'm just laughing at the situation okay. uh, that co- that comes around it. All right, first one. First one, go go go. go. Natural Kill one. Me. Second one. That's a twelve. That doesn't hit. Twenty two. That hits. Okay. That's uh. Uh, that's seven piercing damage, and five cold damage. So two. All right, and then the third is a, an 11. Nope. Or oh, the fourth is 11. So you're able to pass by all them, and they go, rah, rah, rah. Um, they're much stronger than normal piercers due to the blessings. The blessing of, of Galavukin. Okay, I'm going to get over to Mittens, and I would like to put myself between Mittens and the two. Okay. And then I'm going to unleash Hell on one of them. Whoa. Because I haven't attacked yet. Okay. All right. First one is a that is a nine plus eight. That hits seventeen to hit. That hits them. Uh, shit, where are you? I'm so sorry. That is fourteen slashing damage. Okay. It feels great to punch. They are these kind of strange, worm, meaty, warm creatures. But uh, it's oh, yeah. very satisfying as you slash through it. And they let it go. Hell yeah. All right. Attack number two is a 20 something to hit. Ex- uh, yes. Extremely does damage to them. And that is 13 slashing damage. Dead. Hell fucking yeah. B. One Try down. That's right. Because I think it's a five. Yeah, it's five. Um. And then I'm going to that was two attacks, right? Yes. Bonus action attack on the other one. OK. Is a 15 plus eight. OK, that hits. And that one is eight bludgeoning damage. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Uh, it feels even better when you punch versus when you stab it with your claws. Uh, you, f- you feel something inside of it. Some of the only hard parts crack a little has these little like legs um and and things of that nature um and that's your turn my friend that is my turn i would like to let everyone know that they burn their reactions so if you want to run away from them a little bit you can cool beans all right the first ice piercer in front of you goes to bite you dork salim and uh that's a that's a 10 and does not hit. Okay. Uh, and then these other ones, uh, the, uh, two go after you, uh, Nettle. That's Nettle jump. Uh, ooh, natural 20. Good for me. Great. <laughs> okay, they rolled really badly, though. So that is, um, that's 12 piercing damage and five cold damage. As it kind of jumps up and shoots a, like a, a blast of like gleeks at you, uh, ice, and then Ugh. bites on it. Ew. And it kind of like falls off and rips some of your skin off as though you put your tongue on a icy on a pole, pole, but it's opposite because it's like a tongue. Um, you said 12 piercing and five cold? Yes. Can I absorb elements that cold damage? Sure. Nice. Hey, you have an ice attack you can use. Well, with a melee weapon. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, the other one tries to bite you and does a really poor job. Mittens, another two rush at you. That is a, a dirty 20. Uh-oh. Uh, and a 15. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And yeah. the... F- 
first one is uh, 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 six piercing damage and five okay. cold damage. I want to also do an absorb element. <laughs> nice. Yeah, everyone all around, you know, just just freaking absorb yeah. it, baby. Absorb that shit. Pat, how are you doing? Is are you? Uh, you having fun? I am. You're centered. I sent you a message, Tim. Oh. Let me know if. Because is Pat over here sending naughty pictures to Tim during our oh, game? Oh wow! I can't show Very. this on stream. That'd be really funny if Pat was just like, here's a picture of my butt on Thawney, please. <laughs> here's a picture of me and a impact jock from Nasty Pig. <laughs> um, okay, that's the piercer's turn. Uh, Nettle, it's your turn. There's like freaking five piercers, I think. Does um, primal savagery count as a melee attack? I think so. Yes, I think so. But these things are made of ice. I will say that. So the bonus cold damage might not do anything. I don't think you have to apply it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how many are there still? I believe five. Okay. One might have just accidentally died due to my miscounting. But that's okay. <laughs> Accidentally. I'm going to... No, there's, um, there's, there's six. I'm going to clap at them the way that, like... You snap at cats to okay. get them to like stop doing things. Yeah, yeah, I do that every day, five times a day, thirty times a day. Um, and I'm gonna do thunder clap. Hell yeah, clap them cheeks. The um, each creature within a hundred. Wait, what is the range? Five feet. Each creature within five feet of me. So okay. whatever worms are five feet away from me. Okay, I think there's uh, like two at least. Got to make a con save. Oh, they are bad at that. Yeah, yeah. fuck them. But man, I'm this my Dracona Arita dice are so fucking chaotic. Uh, they either roll really good or really bad. They very rarely go in the middle. So one got a twenty three, and then one got a four. Okay, so one passed, but the other one takes um eleven damage. Okay. He says, "Ouch." Uh, is there any half damage or anything like that? I don't. Still think up the cantrip. So. Yeah, if it's do, cantrip, do you want to yeah. hit him with the ice damage? <laughs> with the bonus ice damage that they're probably immune to? Yeah, it's like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Uh, it says <laughs> to you. Uh, cool. Anything else, my friend? Um, I'm going to scooch away from them. Okay. Uh, Velian lifts her hand in the air, and then you see several of these daggers fly out and uh, stab the ones that have already been hit, and they go, bleh, bleh, bleh. So she just took out three of them so now there's explicitly only three left uh one in front of you in dorks mittens and then um two by nettle uh mittens are you alive i'm good I'm cool good. beans baby there's one in front of you and then there's one maybe like like two feet away or excuse me 10 feet away uh the two by nettle all right well mittens is just gonna move away from the action uh Thanks, thanks, Storks. Uh It will attack you if you do that. That Bye -bye. one, that one, because those are the ones I ran up to, so oh. they didn't have an opportunity to attack me. And they've the already gone, so they have their opportunity attacks back. Great, excellent, great. All right, we I don't feel it. like taking another hit anyway, though. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna use. Uh, I don't want to use all my slots, do I? Do I? How many slots do I have? Left I mean, you that? don't really cast spells anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll Zephyr Strike, and then I'll move away, and then fuck you, you can't do that. Uh, Zephyr Strike. And then so I walk away, and uh, like so fast, it's just power walking like a motherfucker. Okay. It like goes to bite um, where you are, and it's like, what? Yeah, the, it gets the ghost image, just like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, no. Uh, all right, and then, uh, and then I'm going to throw some daggers. Let's at, do it, baby. At these uh, wormy boys. I'm going to uh, try to help Nettle out. So we're going to throw uh, the daggers first in that direction, magical okay. Magical knives from my uh, my cool double knife uh, dispenser. That is a. What do I get? Six. <laughs> oh shit! A ten <laughs> and a twelve. Total. Uh, yeah. Did that not hit? Those probably didn't. Yeah. No. What'd you roll? <laughs> I rolled. I rolled a. Uh, oh fuck! I already picked up the dice. Minus six. Four and a. 
seven, five, six. Jesus. Oh, uh, okay. Six. Yeah, both those miss. Fuck. Damn. Me. All right. <laughs> Did you try to sharpshoot or something? One no, that was just a regular terrible roll. Hey, it happens. I'm sorry that I'm I'm yeah. singling you out like this. That's not fair to you. You're a real son of a bitch. Tim. <laughs> uh, and then uh, one non-magical dagger. And you know what? Just for funsies, we'll sharpshooter it because uh, you can't roll bad three times that's in a row. That's very it's, true. It's the law. Yeah, you got to move out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's legal. Oh, uh, seventeen. Uh, that hits. Yours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go to my cool dice calculator. Dagger thrown. Calculator. Sharpshooter, not magical, and you will take one d four. Oh, and I had uh, I'll just save my my zephyr strike bonus. Um, one d four, so that's one. Hell yeah! <laughs> Plus fifteen damage. Oh, dead as hell. <laughs> hey, fuck you, worm. Yeah, let's out. A... <laughs> and then kind of like <laughs> freezes. All right. Cool. Anything else, and my then... friend? I finish my turn in a position as far away from uh, icicle things uh, and hopefully percepting that there are no more above me. I mean, there's several uh, above you. But I would like to go into a space where okay. maybe it looks like it's safe. Cool. All right. Um, uh, 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 Dorks and Lim, top of the oh. round to you. There is one in front of you, one behind you by Nettle. All right. First thing, you see a bunch of my little ouchies close up. Um, you said there's what was left. There's one by me and then two by Nettle, or just two by Nettle. Uh, one in front of you, one by Nettle. Gotcha. I'm gonna beat up the one in front of me. Okay. First attack is a uh, fifteen plus eight. That hits. Ooh. Um, thirteen slashing damage. Dead. Sick. And then I will anime style appear above the one in front of Nettle <laughs> and attack it again. Oh my god. This math is just uh, 15. Uh, that hits. Thank god. This is 12 slashing damage. Okay, this one's quite hurt, but right. not dead. Um, Bonus action attack. Oh shit. Yep, 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 yep. He was gonna kill you. Damn it. Nope. Sixteen plus eight. That hits. That hits. That hits. That hits. That hits. That hits. And then that is seven bludgeoning damage. Dead as hell. Christ. I stomp it. Uh, <laughs> what other horrors exist in this place? I'm glad we didn't go here first. Uh, maybe we should have. I don't know. Uh, Slim, let's try to harvest some of these stuff. I don't know. They're these typically. Don't look like this. I I don't know what these are, but they're obviously blessed, cursed by either Oral or Galavukin. So let's see what we can do. Uh, another okay. medicine or nature check. Dorks Halim. That is a eleven. Okay. Um, out of six. all of them, you're only able to get up a six. Yeah. Oh. So it's five plus six. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So uh, out of all of them, you're able to harvest two um, meaty, weird ice hearts from these things. They're very strange. Uh, it's not quite like anything you've seen before. And it seems like a cursed creature indeed. Um, but uh, uh, Velian quickly puts those other things into, wraps them up in wax paper <laughs> and good shit like that. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Open door. Open door. Um beep 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 beep. Let me check something real quick. And I'd be like, stay behind me to everybody. <laughs> Stop going the danger. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm, I cr mm -hmm. crack my neck and the last of my ouchies are fully healed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, th this room uh, uh, contains wrecked furnishings that suggest it was once used as a frost giant's bedchamber. A bitterly cold wind blows down a staircase to the east, at the bottom of which snow has accumulated. Um, but there's other odds and ends that show that there's been some life here. 
Um, but since um, Galavukin is a frost giant and blessed by Oral, she doesn't mind the cold anyway. Um, it's cute. Yes. Yes. Uh, it, yeah. It's a. Uh, it was probably the queen's bedchamber, um, and mm. was uh, taken over by the priestess. So there's a, a lot of weird shit in here. Uh, can I get some? Uh, investigation checks. Absolutely. You, you knew what I was going to do. I was going to check those nightstands, baby. What, What's in the uh, frost giant bedroom? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, shit, nat 20. Let's go. I got a five investigation, baby. Let's go. Uh, 19. Let, let's, let's go. That's really good. It's just that, you know, you got really good. All right, and uh, as you're exploring, uh, you see uh, you're able to find some tufts of white feathers, huge feathers, um, that Velian's like oftentimes magical creatures. They're you know their parts carry magic. This is this appears to be from the the white rock that um, Galifu can probably flew around. Um, you're able to find uh, what appears to be um, some a reagent case. Uh, Nettle, you notice it's pretty druidic. Um, your, your very standard spell casting components and things like that. Velian's feels like there's probably some helpful stuff, but she'll really need to like run some um, alchemical tests on them and so forth. Because not always, you know, oh, I'm going to cast Wind Wall is necess not necessarily going to help me for other things. Um, mm -hmm. You're able to find uh, more Chardolin. Some, some, um, um, uh, definitely a, a handful of, of that. Uh, you find what looks to be um, a, uh, a, a frozen solid book. And you find a... Um, uh, a huge carved uh, harp that you thought was um, just some broken furniture at first, but it seems like it was just thrown angrily into a corner, um, but it's not destroyed, which is really, really nice. Um, and uh, ch -ch 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 looking around, yeah, you see like other clothes fit for a frost giant, but uh, that's about it. Um, is the book frozen the way that Dead Eye is frozen? No, it just seems like old. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Grab the book. All right, cool. Um, you've really just taken all of her stuff. She hates that, to be honest with you. Yeah. But... Are Do we you taking want... the harp? That seems like a big thing to take. It's huge. I can carry it, it's easy. I like pick it up like it's nothing. <laughs> Spin it around. Throw it my back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's just uh, stairs going up. Mittens takes a dump on the bed. <laughs> Bro. Wow. Um. Sick. I'm gonna turn to uh, the lady who has magic. Velian. And say, "Oh yeah, I have uh, cool eyes, and I can see." Uh, magic things. You want me to turn that on? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, my cool blue werebear, uh, polar werebear eyes now are glowing, snowy, icy blue. Ooh, detect magic. That's eyes. hot. Um, so you know, a, I think it's like a 30 foot bubble around me and I can detect it magic shit in it. Okay. Uh, the uh, book glows faintly. Nice, 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 nice. Let me see. Yeah, and it lasts for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. Uh, you don't see anything else in this room. All right, cool. So then I'm ready to go up. Cool. Because my understanding is like reagents aren't magical in, them, uh, in and of themselves, and the rock right. fur wouldn't be, or feathers wouldn't be either, but they're just, you know how it is. Yeah. Uh, and it's okay. just something about like not being able to see through certain amounts of stone or whatever. Yeah. I'm just going to attribute that to us. Like when we get in the room, I'll see it. So yep, yep, yep. we're good. Okay. So you head up. Um. <laughs> All right. The icy crown encircling the fortress doubles as a battle-minted rooftop. Each prong of the crown extends 40 feet above the roofline, and prongs have 10-foot-wide gaps between them. Situated in the middle of the roof is a nest almost 30 feet in diameter. 
This is the rock nest. And Valena goes, oh, shit. Um, and you start to see some glows coming from the nest. But Hello? you don't see, you don't hear the rhythmic breathing of a giant bird um, or anything like that. So we're, there's just an, a nest in here? Yeah, we outside? So it's like, outside yeah you're, you're completely, sorry, yeah, yeah, you're completely outside. Okay, okay, the okay. snow's b- battling you. You're at the top of this Castle Grey school ass looking thing uh, that has like spikes all around it. Like, like, like that's what's giving it the sort of crown, the skull crown on top of it. And this is where you are. And in the middle of it is this huge um, um, uh, bird nest. Okay. And you can um, just barely see over the top of it. I want nettle and mittens to not come all the way outside. <laughs> okay, so you and Valian go first. Go forth. Yes. Um, yeah. And I look... I am almost nine feet tall. Can I see over the nest and like into it? Uh, my natural vantage. Uh, not really. It's like at least ten feet high, at least. Okay, I'm going to jump. <laughs> um, just straight up, just jump up. You know, like when you're trying to look over a thing. I'm gonna do that where I like jump to see like. Hell yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's hella bones you see like a big ass whale bone you see uh people bones tons of bones but you also see what appears to be other items uh, mm-hmm. uh for the, the, give me a quick perception check perception Ooh, i want that a rock is... omelet come on rock omelet let's go um i have a 13 perception okay uh you see uh something that appears to be a furniture of some sort uh and what appears to be a giant egg yes which one's glowing is it the egg that's glowing the egg is glowing and it looks like something's glowing in the trash zone take the egg i'm gonna say yeah it looks like there's a glowy egg and there's a glowy trash the glowy trash valen looks around pulls her coat around a little more like well Hurry, I don't want to stay out here too long. What if the rock, I don't know, is a, it has dragon-like properties and knows when you touch it, shit, it's going to get mad. I don't Can think they do that, but I don't rock? know. We don't, we don't want to have to fight the rock. Yeah, yeah. but I'm fast. I'm going to clap my hands together. Okay. What do, do I want to turn invisible? Do I need to? Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Can is we have a pet rock? Damn it, where are my actions at? Uh, actions where are my bonus actions at <laughs> do what you at? I do like that the book says that this rock can do things that make a lot of sense but it's not necessarily in the description of the creature Okay. Good to know. Easy peasy. Reminder I'm going to clap my hands and I turn invisible. Okay. And then I use my superior speed and strength mm-hmm. to hop into the nest. Hop into the nest. Once you're inside the nest, egg. you Uh-oh. see things quite clearly. Uh-huh. Um, the, uh, the egg appears to be five foot tall. It's very silvery. And okay. it has um, a kind of like scaly egg structure to it. It's not smooth. Mm-hmm. Um, you uh, and, and towards the garbage zone, uh, it it the furniture explicitly looks to be like a bits of a boat, and then also pretty like nestled in there is what appears to be a chest, and it's covered in doo doo and uh, has a big ass padlock on it. Fuck. See, I want that, but give me that. Not yet. I'm gonna. I'm invisible. I pick up the egg. Okay. How much does the egg weigh? 150 pounds. So I palm the egg and <laughs> pick that up. And then I'm kind of like, look, I might as well. I can grab both. So I'm going to like I have all this speed. And this happens in six seconds. I'm invisible. I dart in, mm-hmm. lift up the egg with one hand, grab the chest out of the doo-doo in the other. Okay. And then run it to where the opening is okay. to go outside. Okay. And then like put them inside. Okay, so like inside the stairwell, I guess you'd say. 
Correct, because I want them inside. So if the thing shows up while we're still here, Nettle and Mittens are not outside, so they can't, they're heavily obscured. Okay, cool. Yeah, you put these two things down, and you all see them. Velen looks like that's not a rock egg. Looks like a dragon egg. And then I... <laughs> what? Oh, why shit. Why does they have... Why? What? what? Huh. All right, and I'm going to reappear next to Velian. Okay. Uh, do any of you have these tools to open this uh, locked uh, uh, chest? I I almost fucking multiclassed, but no. I could probably punch it. Before. <laughs> Kick it. I could probably we break usually it. just break things. <laughs> <laughs> I could break it off. Okay. Try that, I guess. Okay. I will make a, a strength attempt to crush the lock. Um, let me see where my, oh, no, that's not it. Skills. This is athletics, right? Okay. How have none of you picked the lock yet? That can't be true. None of us are rogues. I think Tash had a thieves tool like that's it. That's probably true. <laughs> that's probably true. Um, that is a 12 plus eight. Okay. You bash it. It rattles. Not quite the satisfying click you were hoping for. Doesn't open. Hmm. Do I need to magic it? But, sorry, I don't know that spell. <laughs> I'm not used to thieving. Mm. I could I could try jamming a thing in there and wiggling it around. I've seen it done. Okay, right. give you know. me a, a, a dex check or sleight of hand check with disadvantage. All right. Uh, Mittens pulls out his his knife and jabs it in the lock and just. <laughs> yeah. Um, with disadvantage, what what was it? A dex check? Yeah, like dex or sleight of hand if you have that. Oh, you can't see it on the camera. That's a seven. Cool. It what? rattles. I mean, it's a fun <laughs> noise, but nothing really happens. I... Um, Eldritch <laughs> blast the lock open. Sure, you can try. <laughs> yeah, I just shoot the lock. <sighs> is this also going to be a dex? Is the, no, it's making a wall attack roll. Is the treasure chest made of, like, is it wood? Can it's we just... wood. Yeah, it's made of wood. Maybe we were attacking the wrong part. <laughs> um, <laughs> the giant hunk of metal? Yeah. <laughs> I got a 17 to shoot the lock. Okay, you bash the lock. That it, it rattles. Um... Nothing really happens to it. It's it's discoloring, that's for sure. Oh, do you want me to punch the wood then? Yeah, just punch a hole through the wood. Okay. It's, it's wood. I set the chest down okay. really, like, specifically. Mm -hmm. And then I turn around to face the group. Then I jump, corkscrew, and then axe heal the top of the chest. All right, give me an attack roll. In the like, background, Nettle has scooped up the dragon egg and is just sitting with it. It's five feet tall, by the way. Okay, well, so it's, it's, yeah, she's like I said, <laughs> yeah, she's just sitting with it. Like <laughs> it's warm to the touch. Weirdly, it. Uh, uh, sorry, Josh, what'd you say? Uh, that is a what, like thirteen to hit total. I mean, you bash it and you do hear a crack, but you might need to do it a few more times. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm a monk. I have multi attack. I'll take um, it again. Is this a good idea? You're shooting guns and... Uh, ah, you have a better idea. Bring it inside to do it. We are inside. I, I explicitly said I brought these inside. Uh, in the hallway. You brought it to the stairwells. Like, bring it deeper Should in. Should we take it downstairs? Downstairs. The... Okay, well then, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do some slamming in the bed chambers. <laughs> uh, you go down there, it's stinky, because Mitten's shit in it. <laughs> that's true, that's yeah. true. <laughs> Yeah. You savage! I will, what? I will also What's help carry the with egg you? with nettle on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Give it a few more whacks. See if you can get inside this B, -A -B word. That's a nineteen plus eight. Okay. And uh, it's starting is... to, to crack for sure. That is a thirteen plus eight. Okay. You you break a little bit in, and now you don't have to like do kick. You can probably just like rip it open. Okay. I just use. Bear arms and okay. Open. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so <laughs> uh, you eventually uh, 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 crack open this baby. 
Inside, there's 320 gold pieces, a gold ring with a black pearl set into the fixture, shaped like a whirlpool, and a spell scroll. I, I, I read the spell scroll. What is it? It appears to be a mass cure wounds spell <laughs> scroll. Ooh. Ooh. Then I was like, okay, this is good. This is this is good. We can use some of this stuff. Um, oh, yeah. What is the ring? Can does someone uh, Dork says detect magic, right? The ring is not glowing. It's it's just okay. a spell scroll that's glowing. Okay. But the ring is pretty. And the silver dragon uh egg looking thing uh appears to be glowing from you know, just the inherent magic of the creature. Um she's like, well, this is if we huh I don't know, uh, maybe not quite enough things, but we could try to see if this gets up close enough to our potion, if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Uh, you head down to the kitchen. Velian leads you down there, because that's where the stuff is. Uh, she sends you dorks to go harvest some more pieces from the dead old um, frost giant that you guys murdered. Can you give me another medicine or nature check, please? Medicine! <laughs> Oh, shit, that is a 15 plus 6. All right, you walk back into the kitchen carrying an armload of gore. Um, can you <laughs> give me another nature check, please? And Velian will do so as well. A nature check for yep. this thing? Um, hold on, what is my nature even? Oh, shit. Let's pray. Dragon. Um, 15 minus 1, 14. OK, so over the next two hours, uh, you slowly but surely concoct a brew. Um, there's a few missteps here and there. You, you waste a few of the method things. But after a while, uh, Velian, with some of her own spell components and some of the druidic spell components uh, found from Galavukin's, um domicile, she thinks, well, if anything's going to work, I think this might do it um let's bring the entire cauldron down and just dump it on him what do you say okay easy i pick okay. it up um during that two hours can nettle and mittens have taken a short rest i think so i would love that i got two you hours of rest. I got you. Short okay rest. i pick up the cauldron easy okay uh you head down and she Kind of clears the way around um, uh, uh, Deadeye, grabs some of the various debris around there and kind of like stacks it around him, creating what would look to be the surrounding of like a, a, a fire pit, right? Uh, but instead, she just like pushes some of the ice and other debris down there together. It's like, in case we wanted to kind of pool you a little bit. You know how it is. Uh, I guess just pour it on him. And uh, she kind of sits there and uh, uh, mutters in a magical f way as she her eyes glow slightly and his form glows a little bit. And you pour the goo over Deadeye it, in this huge, huge frost giant cauldron gallons and gallons and gallons of whatever this this mixture is filled with tons of blood uh, uh she sent you down to get some of that walrus blood too um oh, yeah. and it, it's just covering dead eye and weird viscera as it's hitting the the bottom there is a little it's starting to fill up and instead of flowing over the stones and debris that Velian put down there, it's starting to kind of rise up. And eventually it's so much uh, uh, goo that it comes up about to um, uh, uh, Deadeye's waist. And it kind of sits there and she's uh, holding it there. And then all of a sudden, Deadeye, you start to feel a warmth uh, come over you. And there's little bits of cracks uh, around your your head and your shoulders and your fingers um you take seven acid damage 14 cold damage during all of this and you oh, you God. slowly but surely you're still kind of like 10 man e but you're present and you have enough that you can move your mouth but you're still kind of like oh, hold on one second because before I say anything, I make sure I'm not dead. You said seven and fourteen. Mm -hmm. oh, no. ah, I'm dead. All right, you oh, hear no. 
<laughs> you hear her. <laughs> you see him start to move and let out a scream. Bloody fuck. <laughs> and then he kind of like passes out. Well, uh, that worked. Uh, uh, do you want me to stabilize him? I can stabilize him. Okay. Uh, hold on. Do I have... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to see if one of these items that I have does a thing for that. Um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bloody fuck. Uh, and remember, I have uh, a human's kit, so I don't have to roll for it. I just stabilize them. Okay, cool. And uh, I mentioned it before, but it is so cold here that when you take, uh, if you don't do anything to stop it, you take fewer, uh, you get fewer hit points back um, uh, when you take a short rest. You do not, you only take, you only get your constitution modifier. Wow. Unless you are uh, immune to cold, or resistant, or immune to cold damage, or if you do something else to get rid of it. Well, the cauldron was cooking, right? It's true. You could. I would. I would take that argument that you lit a fire. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, cool. All right. So, dead eye, you are stabilized, uh, but you're passed out. So you're asleep. So you're fight. You sleep go flex. So you're sleep in this flex. weird <laughs> one sleep one flex. Uh, you're in this weird <laughs> liminal space, and then all of a sudden you start to feel like when your foot goes to sleep, and then starts waking up, and it's all prickly and weird. Um, and then it's like explicitly burning, and uh, you see him fall to the ground. He's still covered in this little bit of ice, and Valian's like, "Well, since we didn't quite do it the way we should have, he's going to be rigid for quite some time, but." Uh, I, I believe within 24 hours, I feel like he'll be fine. This looks good. I've, I've, I've seen worse in my, my time at the Brotherhood, I think. He might have a little burn scars here and there, but... <laughs> uh, chicks dig scars, right? 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 It's true. Um, i fucked up this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Pat. I'm sorry. I'm aging. I'm gonna have scars. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Well, at least yeah. we can move him now. Yeah. Let's uh... has been sitting on the egg this entire time. <laughs> yeah. Nah. All Can right. I dry dead eye off. Is he are we is that safe to do now? Uh yeah, go ahead do that. Okay. I will pick dead eye up and dry him off like one dries off a dog or a cat. Okay. And then once sufficiently dry, I'm just going to like papoose dead eye inside my trench coat. Okay. Yeah. Uh he's very very rigid. Uh, it's, uh, it's, he doesn't quite go baby mode. So you kind of have to carry him like a dead, like a frozen dead body, For sure. but he's breathing, uh, shallow breaths. Uh, he looks to be in pain in his dreams and shit like that. But, um, the, from what you remember, you need to go out of the castle and down Southeast to go to the dock in order to call for Angajuk in order to get the fuck out of here. Ooh, okay, I know what I'm doing. Because he can't pop hoose like regular, but he was like standing up. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to like mummy wrap him almost okay. in, in, you know, whatever I got. And then he's going to go like this way on me. So his head's going to be here, and then he's going to be like that, and then I have my trench coat on. Okay, and then you have the egg in the other hand. <laughs> With metal, With metal on, on it. On it. No. <laughs> okay. All right. You head on out. It's very, very cold, obviously. Uh, the, uh, the, after kind of warming up, going back to the Isle of Solstice uh, feels all the more shitty because the warmth lets your bones get ready for pain. So you head on south towards the beautiful, beautiful dock. You pass more of these strange ice sculptures and you get to the dock. There's a bell. Um sort of um, on the dock, it seems to have been um, somewhat makeshift. It's mostly just like a pot with um, uh, like a, a metal spoon next to it that you can bash. Anybody want to bash it? I'll, I'll bash it, yeah. Cool. I've been carrying a lot of stuff. I want you guys to do things. You bash it. Ding, 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 ding. About 15 minutes later, Hey guys, what's up? Oh, you're all a lot. Whoa, no! Did one of you die? What's that thing? Oh, no, he's just sleeping. Oh, okay. Well, hurry up. It's been many, many hours, but 
uh, all that commotion, even I could hear some of it underwater swimming around. Uh, some of the other creatures were spooked out by loud noises and, and, and explosions, so you better hurry. Hi, Uncle Duke. I pull out uh, Chewinga's arm and wave with it <laughs> and put it back oh, into yeah. the back of I can't even begin to understand what your guys' deal is, but uh, hurry. <laughs> all right, I jump in. Okay, yeah. jump in. The uh, sort of magical bubble around Angajuk seals around you. It feels warm in here. Um, you're able to nestle Deadeye into like a nook so that he's safe and not bouncing around. Valian yeah. checks more I of keep... his vitals. Yes, I was going to say, I keep Deadeye very close to me because I am very warm. So true. And yeah, uh, Angajuk goes, well, all right, I guess I'll take you back. Uh, do you want to go back to my, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take you back to where you, I picked you up from. Uh, wow. What a great day. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, takes three days at that point. At some point, Dada, you wake up, your body feels like it's has a cold sunburn. You're racked with pain, but Hey baby, it's living. Is your mic off? No, I just oh, was, okay. I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> was that? What, 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 what fucking, oh, the fucking, even me fucking teeth hurt. What the fuck? Ah, oh. I don't know. You tell oh. us. I, 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 thought I was having a, a little tit a chat with Oral and I thought it was going great. In me, in me mind, and next thing I know, I feel like absolute shite. And you're holding me. Punch, why are you hold it? Where, where because I'm warm, you? and you're not. Right. Okay. <laughs> you were talking with Aro. Why does it feel like my skin is on fire and in a freezer at the same time? We have a uh, dragon egg now. We do have a dragon egg. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I will would love to circle back with you on that in a moment absolutely you were, you were frozen that one. solid yeah you, you were frozen okay you were in ice and then we needed to get the big the, a heart for you but dorks ate it and I so did. and so we just found a bunch of other animal in, in parts and then and then we boiled it and then so you were frozen and then we boiled you awake yes yeah, see we yes. wanted a ice uh, troll heart but uh, Dorkslim ate it, so we kind of just yeah. threw in like a spleen, the liver, a toe, and a lot of blood, and Spinal so that's blood, why yeah. it hurt so much. I can't um, believe it worked, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, Punch loves his his monster hot snacks. Well, that's a recent yeah. development. I've never yeah. wanted steak so bad in my life. It's the way there, I think. Right, okay, so what, what, where are we? What's the plan? We're on, on the whale. whale. Oh, on the whale. On the oh, great. Okay. Love it. Winger's in the bag of holding and I'm on yeah. a dragon egg. Oh, that's right. Your winger is in pieces, isn't he? Yes. Oh, I've got to fix him. Yeah, negotiations okay. were unsuccessful. <laughs> yes, right. because you became a thing of ice. That was yeah. funny. Right. I promise I'll fix him that all as soon as I can, you know, have proper motor functions return to me fingies. Easy peasy. Yeah, give it a couple days. A, a kind of. Is there any that you know what I got? I can't fucking believe I'm gonna say this. Anyone got any hot beer? <gasps> <laughs> ah, I've got some body temperature meat in a mug. Yes. Sounds. Did you just yeah, say I body like temperature? If it was anybody else's body, I'd probably be like, "Oh, for it," but fucking hell, bits. I can probably heat it up. Just put it in here. In, in where? <laughs> yeah, you're in my trench coat, so I just stuff it in the trench coat with you. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of room in here. I'm very lean, even in werebear form. Oh, dude, and I'm so fuzzy and furry now. Oh my god, you are so, you're like wearing a big fur coat right now. Punch, you're more comfortable than any blanket or carpet I've ever felt. Just want you to know. Oh, for sure. I kiss you on top of the head. Okay. So, what did we get anything good? This dragon the, egg. The dra that's right. The the. the, the bit addled in the brain at the moment uh i thought about for a hot moment reaching out to another god for help how funny is that 
I feel like maybe the lesson to take away from this is that you really need to stop trying to do the negotiating. Like, oh, I was gonna say that go- all gods are dicks. Don't speak no, to true. anyone with power. Just don't. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> also, we had a book too. The book was not magic, or was it magic? It was just frozen. It, it, get... it was magic. We got oh, the book. Oh. Yeah, we got. Yeah, the point thing. to frozen oh. book. We got that too. Oh yay! So we can go all the way across again. Hey, what do we two, think about maybe books. saying like "fuck this place" and just going down the sword coast? <laughs> <laughs> it's warm down there, I hear. Little vacation, little holiday. I've always wanted to go down south. Yeah, I, lo- I like the tennis, end of campaign. <laughs> end of campaign. We did it. We did it. <laughs> okay, it's warm sounds now. good. Uh, as written, you can finish the campaign but um, i said that sucks I know, of course <laughs> we're at pages page. out <laughs> add a new one then uh but well, this is probably a good enough time to end actually cool. as you have to go to grab your children um i'll be back co- in like 60 seconds but... cool beans uh yeah you have a relatively uneventful uh as uneventful as it can be riding a magical talking whale under the water through a ruined uh, frost giant kingdom. Just your boring. Luckily, not a terrible way to recover after what you guys just went through. I have marked down a few secret notes. I'm very excited for you to Secret note those. one. We have dragon Secret in. notes <laughs> are. Um, yeah, you get dropped off at the bell. And your next step is, well, you can either go back to Ten Towns to drop shit off or whatever, or head on to where the freaking codicil of white wants you to go. I think Choices. we deserve a long rest. Choices. Yeah, I oh, agree. You, you can take three <laughs> long rests on the boat. I mean, yeah, that's true. Easy. You can click long rest three times, and we do that. Most importantly, you level up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah! But not dead. I'm very excited about this. But not dead. <laughs> Could you imagine? Uh, it, it was funny to me that like, because there's no r- written cure for the petrification, but it's like, all right, it makes kind of sense that these five things would help. It's like, okay, it's good. They have four of those things next to them already. So it always feels weird when you put like this huge problem in front of your players, but you also know that. Without them knowing, they put the solution right behind them. And it's like, well, I should get rid of the solution and make it hard. Like, no, don't do that. It's not fair. <laughs> don't do that. Players don't necessarily want that. All right, uh, Pat, you level up. Sweet. I, I was going to take away a level from you. And I was like, <laughs> should I fuck with Pat more? No. Do it. <laughs> I dare you, coward. Your constitution modifier or your constitution score goes to zero. Um <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do it. We're going to end a little bit early today. Uh, actually, the way I thought about it is it's not early. Each session is the exact right amount of time. Uh, you can find us here next Thursday, but not every Thursday this month because of Turkey Day. That's what I call it. That's true. Oh, yeah. Um, kind of Gandalf shit is that, Tim? <laughs> Who? Who? Uh, when he said it's not early, it's the right time. I was like, I understood that reference. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a Christian thing. Like, he may not come when you want, but he always comes on time. So true. Oh. Which was my... Gandalf is God. At Gandalf is Aslan. Aslan is God. Uh, so check us out here next week. Every single... Minnesota, what's up, Minnesota? Uh, I was just thinking, we don't have anything to do for Thanksgiving. And I was like, but we have a car now. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to Chicago and bring Susie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, cause we don't have a lot of friends in St. Louis. So I was like, wait a second, wait a second. But geography of that request, Jennifer is very amusing. <laughs> <laughs> don't think about Drive. it too hard. <laughs> no, don't think about it too hard. <laughs> drive two hours past me, get her and then drive back. <laughs> yeah. What's the don't fucking problem? <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Tim Lanning. Uh, it's a good way to know when we're streaming and things like that. I'm about to get my ADHD medicine and nice. uh, a second streaming computer. So hopefully I'll be able to stream more often. Uh, knock on wood. The, it hasn't crashed yet. I don't know why. Maybe Tim I should start clicking shit. leveling up IRL. Yeah. True that. I, I, when I called the, my computer maker, uh, iBuyPower, they're like, download this thing called Crash Report. 
And then I did, and they're like, and they're like, what's it say? It's like nothing. It's like, and they're like, that's not right. <laughs> and my computer crashes all the time, and it doesn't generate. So I might have a bad graphics card. So if anyone wants to give me five thousand dollars, that'd be sick. Um, yes, give Tim five thousand dollars. Buy Pokemon for Jennifer. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Get on Tumblr. Or post yeah, I'll show porn. you my ball scar if you give me five thousand dollars. Well, I want to see your ball scar. I'll show it to everybody. I don't care. Uh, uh, <laughs> all sorts of fun stuff <laughs> happening. We're about to finish up the first season of our Left Behind podcast, Tribu Tribulation Force, which means the uh, 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 Patreon is going to uh, get launched. We're going to do some special content. We're already gearing up for that. Um, going to have a couple things down the pipe for that. And then uh, down the road, the Patreon will help you help us figure out what to do next. Heck, maybe we'll have a special Ernest Scared Stupid episode. I don't even know. Um, Jennifer, where can folks find you? Hi, I'm a freelance artist and illustrator. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Jen Pig. Yep. <laughs> Josh. Hello, it's me. My name is Josh. You can find me all across the internet at Josket. That's J-O-S-K-E-T-H. I'm on Twitter. I'm going to start posting some pictures I took a while ago, but read more recent on my Tumblr, which is, again, at Josket. I'm on Naruto Review Toe with Tim, where we watch episodes of Naruto and Review Toe them. Uh, I'm still on Twitter because I will never give up the black gay antics on that app until they listen. I'm going to ride it to the brakes fall off because I'll never oh, die. so funny. Um, you can catch me on this Pokemon game in 15 days. Um, yeah, it, like I'm all over the place. Find me. I pick Brett. Hello. Uh, find me on Twitter at Brett Eagles. There's links to the other things that I do and things that I haven't done in a while that I should do, like the podcast that me and Pat are on. Let's rewatch. Uh, maybe one will come out this week. Who knows? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it, uh, Pat. Everyone, listen. It's like <laughs> what? It's like just so like lame when people's like Halloween episodes of their shows come out like actually like before right before on halloween like yeah you want at least december ours is gonna come like a couple days after <laughs> that's fun <laughs> jennifer's on it yeah yeah Good you know, how long ago did we record that, that we recorded yeah. that so long ago it was definitely probably september <laughs> yeah <sighs> what movie did you already say casper casper, yeah. casper. that's right the perfect Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a, some fun eating scenes. Is that is that everybody? I, I wasn't listening. I I'm at the Pat Edwards. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Pat. Uh, yeah, and uh, all your subs and things like that get thrown into the twitch.tv slash geeking bucket. And then <laughs> every now and again, once it gets enough money, I pour it out to the cast. So if you want to help get people things uh, a percentage of what you donate here uh goes there um and uh, yeah and, and help support all the streams what is that baby baby no babies hi look they're waving at you is it who i don't know them <laughs> all right until wow, next wow. week stay frosty everybody <laughs>